more long-term gratification. So in the moment, I don't see as much money, but I know that within two, three months from now, I will see way more money than I ever could have taken the deal now. So it's much harder and you have to really swallow your pride, but I really do think that people that do that in the moment are the ones that get rewarded the most in the future. So I'm gonna continue eating and then I'm gonna head to the gym and show you guys the rest. Good morning guys. So I think it's been a while since I've done like uh, showing you my day, showing you my uh, you know routine or whatever, but yeah, I just woke up and now I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I just made three eggs. As you can see, this is literally gonna be like my breakfast. Um, and then I'm gonna head to the gym for a minimum half an hour to an hour. I'm gonna be there. Um, I've read a bit of uh, parts of Tim Ferriss's four hour body, which is basically like his guide to uh, a physique and physical health um, Just like how he made a um, four hour work week. So it's kind of the same principles applying to health uh, losing fat gaining muscle um, and switching out your diet um, and I read a bit of that and there's part of it's where it says within the first 30 minutes of the day, try to get 30 grams of protein and 30 minutes of slow, steady cardio. So I'm gonna try to do that for the next week because um, I've done it for the past two days and I felt amazing. I decided, okay, I'm gonna push the fast a bit earlier, have three eggs in the morning, go for a workout, half an hour to an hour, come back, have a second meal and then get my work done for the day with just the three eggs uh, in the morning. And technically I am still fasted from um, carbs, which I really like because when I just eat fat and protein, I find that my energy levels go up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Maybe I'll show you guys some of the footage of me at the gym. So I'm gonna spend about 25 minutes to half an hour on the machines, treadmill, bicycle, uh, just switch and then go on to hitting the bag, doing a bit of boxing. Just to put you guys a bit more into my daily life or what's been going on recently, um, I've just been saving up as much money as I possibly can because um, I want to reinvest it into my business. Um, I basically am trying to save up enough money where to the point where I can reinvest it and still stay comfortable with my savings. So along with school and the client work that I do on the side, which is basically my online business. Um, I'm also working weekends at a restaurant and it's really just something to get some extra cash um, so that I can reinvest it into the business and the business grows. The past month or two has just been nonstop work. So it's been during the week you have school, during the weekend I work at Hog and then any time after that is just dedicated to either YouTube or online business. That's why I've been slacking a bit on the recent YouTube videos. It's just I've been so focused on trying to get the systems in place um, because I definitely, I, I don't want to take the little fish, if that makes any sense. So I think that the same way that like short-term gratification and long-term gratification applies to life, it applies to business. So if you're going to take a short deal right now, for example, let's say you have a thousand saved up instead of putting that or saving that up for longer in order to put it into a business that can generate high income skills and it can generate cash flow for months, years on end because it's a good business plan, it's a good business model, then you're going to have much better luck just sacrificing the moment in order to have a sustainable long-term business than if you just take that thousand and you put it into some drop shipping course um, and then barely see any results or make your money back but lose the time you could have put into um, a more long-term sustainable business. And I'm in the, in the game of long-term because my hopes and my plans are to 
either drop out of school, depending on how the businesses go, or come out of school with a long-term business, sustainable business built already. Um, depending on how things go the next year or two, um, you guys will be along the way watching what's going to happen. To do this on weekends was kind of hard for me because I really didn't know if it was the best decision because yes, I'm getting cash right now, but I could be putting that time into my business. And I just found that it's better to just save up, sacrifice a bit of my ego um, in order to get some extra money along with trying to still maintain what I've got with the business and then reinvest it all. So hopefully by the end of the month, which is in like two days, um, I'm gonna get all the money that I've saved up and put it into some sort of coaching because I basically just wanna learn more high income skills um, so that way I have leverage into my business. If you guys wanna know the details, I'll make more YouTube videos in the future. Um, and yeah, this YouTube channel is really, really just a documentation of my life and everything that I've done, but you guys don't see every moment. So you have to understand that you know, some things when it comes to doing business and I can't really show you guys all of that. And at one point I definitely will, but for the time being right now, it, it just has to be me telling you in a, in a sort of way and me uh, telling you guys kind of where my headspace is at, what, what I'm going through. I still hope this is valuable to some of you. For anyone that wants to start a business or has started a business and you know, is having a hard time getting clients, is having a hard time getting good results, then uh, my best advice is play the long-term game. I know that my rewards will be much better and more long-term gratification. So in the moment, I don't see as much money, but I know that within two, three months from now, I will see way more money than I ever could have taken the deal now. So it's much harder and you have to really swallow your pride, but I really do think that people that do that in the moment are the ones that get rewarded the most in the future. So I'm gonna continue eating and then I'm gonna head to the gym and show you guys the rest. All day, nigga. All day, nigga. How long you niggas ball? All day, nigga. How much time you spent at the mall? All day, nigga. How many runners do you got on call? All day, nigga. Swish, swish. How long they keep you in call? All day, nigga. Take you to get this fly. So recently I got these wired headphones. And I feel like everyone looks at me like, those are 10 years old and why don't you have AirPods? I have AirPods, I just got these because I don't know, there's something about wired headphones and apparently they're better for you because of the EDFM rays. I don't really care too much about that because it's not that big of a sacrifice if I'm being honest, like it does minimal damage to your ears. But I was like, why not buy a pair of wired ones? I also just kind of like the fact that you don't need to charge them. And it's kind of nice having this mic thing. So for all of you uh, wondering why, I just, there's something about wired headphones. So yeah. All day nigga, take you to get this fly. All day nigga, tell you be your how, how long you been high. All day nigga, nobody know, straight from the shop. All day nigga, top, 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 side. All day nigga. This shit, nigga. Shopping for the winner and it's just made, nigga. Ball so hard, man. This shit crazy, nigga. He ain't getting money. That shit got eight figures. But it's just a piece, man. I've been saying, nigga. Just found the fair kind of sense. Okay, guys. Just got finished with the gym. I did 2K and a quarter. Um, I was just going to do two and then I just kept going for a bit longer. Did about 20 minutes on the treadmill, a bit less. And then I did about another 20 minutes, 30 minutes of uh, boxing. Just hit the bag a bit and in between I did some skipping rope so I was getting good cardio in I did a bit more than 45 minutes uh, the minimum is 30 minutes like I said I'm doing 30 grams of protein in the morning and then 30 minutes of cardio this isn't really steady and slow it's more uh, intense if I'm being honest the run is 
calming is just like I sweat a lot you know you get pretty tired afterwards and then the boxing is really where I go a bit extreme but um, yeah my goal is to get lower on body fat percentage and I'm doing pretty well on that I've lost a couple kilos in the past few weeks so I'm trying to keep it slow trying to keep it steady and uh, hopefully I'll hit my goal weight and my goal body fat percentage by the end of the year and that obviously I got a lot more things that are priorities like the business like school money I hope you guys enjoyed this hopefully within the next few months I'll have a dedicated person to recording these workouts and helping me with this YouTube channel so okay guys I'm gonna cut this short yes I am shirtless because I just finished up, FBI, open up! the shower I came home and I'm in a really tight schedule right now. I'm going to get my second meal in and then I'm going to work on editing this YouTube video, possibly sending it to my friend. If you guys have seen any improvement in the past YouTube videos based on the editing, that's all thanks to my best friend, Simone. The guy has been there for the past, you know, we've been friends for three years. And since I started this YouTube channel, he's been commenting on every YouTube video. He's been watching every single one and I just cannot thank him enough and he's recently been interested in editing so I've let him edit my YouTube videos and hopefully we'll become a team and uh, produce as much content. Yeah, I hope the best for our future endeavors. Aside from that, I'm going to work more on this YouTube video. I have an interesting project coming up that will hopefully come out by the end of October which I will later announce in a future YouTube video. Um, and aside from that, I have some schoolwork I have to get done. And then I have a night shift tonight that I am working. And when I come back, all I'm gonna do is work on my business. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull a bit of an all-nighter. Still gonna get enough sleep. Yeah, work on the business a bit and see where I'm gonna reinvest this money uh, within the next two days. So I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Like, share, subscribe, yeah, as always. My jeans. When I fell asleep, I was still in my jeans. Then I had a one girl that keep me clean. She want to eat my life. Do you mean? What do you mean? I come for the cream. I made some mistakes that I got redeemed. You put me in position, I don't want to be. We all made mistakes.